Lady and the Swap TV, and we're joined by Jacob Edwards, who has his show, The Faux Latino Show Pony. Um, tell us about your show, then. Um, it's incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I've seen it a few times now, and it's, it's really, it's astonishing. It's astonishing. It's um, it's a character comedy show. Okay. Um, but um, I'd say it's quite an alternative character comedy show. Um, all little different facets of my personality. Oh, okay. So have you made lots of different individual characters and then you mix them together and talk to them? Talk or? They're all they're all kind of they're all live, so they're all yeah. doing stand up okay, yeah. in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but hopefully the whole show kind of like merges into one. I'm not like running off and putting a crazy wig on or like a crazy <laughs> bed tie. Running from one end to the other. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, how are you feeling for it? Are you nervous or just excited to start? Good. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first solo show I've done. Yeah. Um, I've done the Fringe a couple of times before mm -hmm. in a, a double act called Sunny Defensive. Mm -hmm. Everyone at home will uh, remember them. <laughs> course. Um, not. Uh, so yeah, it's my first solo show. Yes, I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Okay, and so do you have any tips for budding comedians wanting to start out? Do you have any advice? Um, I would say probably just do your own thing. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds like really trad thing to say but a lot of people when they start out you can see like I mean everyone's going to be like influenced mm -hmm. and inspired by people they like mm -hmm. but I think a lot of people think for something to be good mm -hmm. oh it's got to be like that guy or it's got to be yeah. in that category or so try know. and find something unique almost yeah and is there anyone that inspires you um I like all of the kind of alternative character comics so, like Brian Gittins was here a couple of years ago. I think he's fantastic. Um, I don't know if you know Neil Hamburger. No, great name though. <laughs> Incredible. If you can ever see him, he does. He's American, as you would imagine from the name. But um, yeah, he does shows over. He does a festival occasionally and does like runs in London. But um, yeah, those guys are, are, are great. Not what you expect from. Mm -hmm character comedy, I suppose you call it anti-comedy mm. really, like the audience have got to be quite brave mm. to go with it yeah. and kind of realise that it's a joke. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully that happens. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever had any bad audiences? Oh yeah. What was the worst? Well, um, the last preview that I did, um, I come on stage, I did this character called Michael Heritage. And I come on with a bottle of sparkling mineral water mm -hmm. and I kind of threaten to spray the front row with uh, sparkling mineral water. Come on, Liz. I was doing a, a preview in, in Dalston, London, and uh, uh, it was like a really nice fringe crowd, but there were kind of a few uh, rough types in there. And I came on, and the first thing this guy said to me is, if any of that goes on me, I'm going to cut your effing head off. Wow. So How that was the last preview that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Never again. <laughs> Never, not in that venue, at least. <laughs> um, I think that character is like, he's such like a confident character mm. that I just started talking to him, because mm. he wouldn't be scared of something yeah. like that, which is a relief. Okay, and, and then, that, then you were able to come pull it together. <laughs> yeah. But the guy at the end uh, gave me a hug and a kiss oh. and bought me a drink. So it wasn't so scary? No. After all. It was one of those people that you had to kind of like, he thought that he was in charge okay. and he was going to decide whether yeah. he liked me or not mm -hmm. and he did. So <laughs> so it was all right. Luckily. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, what do you like about the Fringe? Um, what is it that makes the Fringe so different? Do you find it? Exciting, more exciting than anywhere else, maybe? I think it's like a, a, a comic, it's just 
everyone who you know mm. and you gig with on the circuit. Yeah. And you know the circuits are really supportive and everybody mm. kind of helps each other out mm. and you know you see everybody's stuff at gigs and you see them trying out new stuff and it's just like really nice that everyone like comes together and you can go and see their shows yeah. and this is like it's like the culmination of a lot of yeah. hard work. Yeah. You know. A lot of hard work, yeah. Yeah. I bet. Okay, well thank you for talking to us today. Pleasure. And it's Sporting TV and we're sponsored by Westphere.